Hi guys, Lula Mana here. Uh, we're converting the Country Roads four string banjo to a five string. So here's one of the steps. I've got the neck. I had to glue the heel stock on first. You'll see as we get through the process. So I cut this piece of maple to fit there. That's where my fifth string will go. And then I had to extend the heel. So I got another piece there. And I'll glue those in place. You can see I've marked where the side dots are going to go. And I've marked where the hole is going to go for the fifth string tuner. And I got to glue them on now. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, the next step, you see I got the extension pieces glued on. I just took the clamps off. And I've got the side dot areas marked. I've pre-drilled the hole where I want the fifth string peg to go. And we're going to get to drilling that in a second. I took, here's the fifth string peg I'm going to use. And I took my handy drill gauge and I tried it and I see that it goes in pretty nice in a 3 8 hole. So I'm going to go one hole smaller since it's got ridges and I can pound it in to 23 60 fourths. And I'm going to drill that hole. And I have the drill press set up here. You can see I put a piece of tape to mark how deep to drill it. And hopefully this will fit in here. And it feels like it'll fit in nice and snug. But first I'm going to shape the back of the neck. But my hole's already drilled. It'd be too hard to drill that hole if it was already rounded off. That's why I drilled it this way and that's why I did this all. And I didn't have a piece to make. The, you could make this all one piece. But I didn't have a piece wide enough to do that. So I made this the same thickness as the part that goes inside the box. So we have a seam on this side and a seam in the same place on this side. So at least it'll be that. And you can see the green dots came out nice. I'll do the same thing up here on the side with some smaller green dots. Next step is shaping the neck. Okay. <laughs> Country Roads Banjo Kit converted to a five string. Very simple. Everybody who wants to build a banjo neck but you're afraid of that thing, do this. It, it was easy. You've seen how I've just added this piece on. The only things I did different, these instructions are fantastic. The only thing I did different was I did not attach the two outside side pieces until the neck was completely done and mounted. That way I could put the screws in through the sides after the neck was done. And then the rest, pretty much there. I changed out the tailpiece because the kit came with a four-string tailpiece. And I got this from CB Giddy. That's the mandolin tailpiece, which works great for banjo. And these are banjo loop end strings. Some custom knobs I put on there. Of course, a Giddy Bucker from Giddy. I had the fifth-string peg in my larder. And, and the... I went with uh, burned side dots in. It just seemed like it would fit better. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. Um, love it. I absolutely love it. If anyone wants to try a banjo and is afraid, this is definitely the way to do it. It was easy. You've seen how easy it was. No great mysteries. The hardest thing to find was a little screw. This is called a pip. and It's like the little one string nut. It's a a very small flathead screw, not flathead, but slotted screw that the string runs through. And then by screwing up and down with the screw, you can adjust the height of the string. That was the hardest thing to find because all screws are Phillips head now. Little, you almost have to take apart an old thing with that. But that was, you know, I found that and everything else just by the thing. I experimented with the color. I got a really nice green. I'm very happy with it. Okay, let me see pictures of what you guys do with it. I think I might like to try a three string with adding a little string and have a four string that way banjo. 
That might be the next one. All right, thanks, guys.